I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So, today's project. I want to challenge myself because if you saw my Instagram, I recently started to knit. Yeah, I still love the crochet, I still love it, but I wanted to try something new. So, I tried to knit. I already have two projects, like, I don't have them with myself right now, but you can see them on Instagram. I have a top. And I also have a bag, but I haven't posted yet on Instagram, so stay tuned for this one. So those two projects are from, like, our ride on patterns that I bought. So that's not really my project, you know. That's why today I wanted to challenge myself with making my own thing. I want to make my own bag. I don't have any patterns. I don't have, like, I would say I'm still a beginner. I don't really know but yeah I want to try something new so I have some yarn and I will make it with straight needles and yeah let's see how it goes okay so um I think it's been an hour I didn't show you like the the beginning but I'm going to show you okay so here's what I'm at right now I've done all these rows I think it looks good this is this will be like the right side, you know. I'm just doing a simple um, stockinette stitch, like knit and pull. I'm doing this, and like my yarn is so weird because it keeps twisting like this and making these little knots. It's quite confusing because I don't know how to avoid that, and I just have to twist it so much. So it doesn't do that, but it keeps doing that. So I don't know what to do, but I hope I will finish it and it will look good. So for the moment, my goal is to make, um, is to continue to make this and make a big rectangle. I don't know where, like a big rectangle and then two triangles like this. And um, I think we can, do, I can do that with like increase or wait, increase or decrease I don't I don't remember but I can make triangles at the end and finish with making and bags and join them together so yeah I'm not working in routes for this one I'm just working like with straight needles because then I want to attach like the, the front part to the back part so I think it can look good Yep, so I will finish that, like I'll make the big rectangle and see you because like I don't think it's really interesting to show you how to make a big rectangle. It's just really simple. Okay, so it's been like three, two or three hours and here's what I'm at. Okay, so I've done all of these. Honestly, it's quite pretty fast because it's a big yarn you see it's quite a chunky yarn so it's pretty fast I'm still going to continue until here I would say um, then yes I'm just going to continue by myself and finish my rectangle Okay, so it's been a few hours since I started and here's what I have. This is the front, the legs and the back. So I think it's enough and now I want to separate the stitches in two, like in half and just work the first half and this one you want to put the stitches on the um, on string like we don't we don't want to work with them for the moment okay so here i have 30 stitches so i want to work with only 15 so only 
this part here and first I want to knit one stitch here I just I just want to create like the the triangle so I knit one stitch and I go to knit the next one but I just don't knit it and I take it off I do the same with the next one and I take it off take this one and go to the front and knit the two stitches together and now I can knit as normal until I have three stitches left okay so as you can see I have three stitches left and then here we want to go through the tubes so we want to knit two together here and knit the next one as normal so here it is you can see here it goes like this and it will be the same for here but now since we since we want to work this one after we just want to i'm going to put it on a another screen so i can work with my needle Okay, I've secured my other 15 stitches here, so I'm just going to continue to work with my left side, I guess here. And when you're on the wrong side, you just want to pull as normal, like no pulls together or anything, just as normal. You want to pull until the end so you just want to decrease when you're on the right side so it's always the same you knit one as normal you knit one you go to knit a second but you finally don't knit it so you push it back, you do the same with the third one, and then with your left needle, you take the two mm -hmm. from the front and you knit them. And then you continue knitting as normal until you have three stitches left. And when you're here, you just knit those two together, like this. Then you always finish by making a simple knit stitch. And from here, it's always the same. When it's the wrong side, you need to pull all of the stitches. As you can see here, it start to decrease and it's the same on here, here and here. And you need to continue until you have four stitches left on the needle. like this as you can see I have four stitches on my needle and now I want to make the handle but just half of it so what I'm going to do is just knit and purl the four stitches until I have the 
a band that I like. So I finished my first trap, like half of the end bag. This is how much I want it, so I'm just going to let some yarn cut and I'm going to work with the 15 stitches I left out in the beginning. So I just cut and I'm going to put this thread here so I secure those 4 stitches. So I'm not really going to show you how to make this one because it's always the same. Here you start, if you are on the right side, you want to knit one, you want to slip those two on your other needle and knit them after. You knit until you have three left, you knit those two together and you knit the last one as normal and when you're on the other side you just knit all of them and it's just you just need to repeat what you did for here and then you make the same same size for your other part of the strap so yeah i'll see you when i done this and this is actually my yarn so i don't know what to do with it it just twists so much so yeah okay so i just finished i've made enough to attach those two together to create a handle as you can see here so I'm going to cast off here and cast off here and sew the two parts together. So when you finish your first part like this one, you want to attach the end like this and you want to make a second part. I have two because I already filmed this video that I didn't like it. So that's why I have another one. So I have one part and two parts. I'm just going to sew the handle and get back. So I'm so happy. Okay, I attached this here. It's not really pretty like I did it. This one is okay. This one is not. <laughs> but thing that I need to do right now is take the right side and make them facing each other okay you have the wrong side here and the wrong side here and I'm just going to sew right here to form the bag so 